Hi there, Pisces, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 10th through to the 16th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, lay them all out. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. First up, we have the Queen of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Ten of Swords reversed. Next, we have the King of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Three of Swords reversed. And lastly, we have the Queen of Pentacles in the upright position. So for your overall energy, Pisces, you have the Queen of Wands. She's been popping up as an overall energy for quite a few uh, signs this week. I don't know if people are just embodying the energies of the Queen of Wands and just wanting to get things moving and get things going. But anyway, it is a court card. Could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now for some of you... And the Queen of Wands could be somebody external to you who is playing a, a big role in your life this week. For others of you, like I said, this could be you embodying the energies of the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is all about moving forward passionately with something. Now, it can indicate um, business and enterprise. It can also indicate travel or it can indicate... Um, Ah, uh, just passion, adventure, fun, that kind of stuff. So for some of you, Queen of Wands perhaps is a friend, a family member, or even a spouse. Could be lighting a fire under you to get you moving, to get you going. Could be wanting to get you to travel, to move, to do go into business together. Whatever the situation is, they're wanting to get going. And, um, you know, it seems like it's okay with you, Pisces. <laughs> Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse position. So, something that got you to the point of no return, Ten of Swords in the upright position, is where we're dealing with a situation that it's the last straw. The last straw, the straw that broke the camel's back kind of thing, where we uh, could have bottomed out with a relationship, a friendship, or a work situation. It could be a health situation. It could be a lot of things that just sort of came to its final end. But when the card is inverted like this, this can indicate we are finally rebounding from that. We're coming back from that. So if there was a situation where friends, family member, relationship took you to the brink of the Ten of Swords in the upright where you just, you know, felt like it was the last straw. You could see this week where the healing begins. So it could be the healing of a, a, a relationship, definitely for some of you. For others of you, it's the healing of a physical problem or something, you know, like a health problem or something like that. But something's on the heel coming into this week. Next card up is the King of Pentacles in the upright position. Well, the King of Pentacles is another court card. This time we're dealing with um, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Can a, King of Pentacles is someone who's in a position to, you know, sort of call the shots on the financial stuff. This can be uh, dealing with, perhaps for some of you, this is dealing with uh, a banker. You could be dealing with a... A financial advisor, you could be dealing with a real estate agent, um, <clears throat> accountant. Maybe some of you are talking with your accountant this week. For others of you, if this is a love interest, this person has got their feet on the ground, they could be very stable. They could be influencing you or talking to you about financial matters such as, you know, um, property, finances, and what you have in the bank and trying to help you, you know, organize that. Moving forward, we have the Three of Swords now in the reverse position, indicating more healing here, Pisces. You're healing from a situation that bottomed out, really hurt your feelings, really got you upset, but you're finally starting to heal from the situation. Now, I don't know what all the finances and all the people are doing here, but let's just finish the reading for a minute because last card you have is the Queen of Pentacles. You have the King and Queen of Pentacles here in the upright position, indicating the royal couple stays together. So if you guys were thinking about 
you know, splitting apart or something like that because something hit critical mass. It looks like you will be remaining together. Now, what the Queen of Wands is doing here too, sometimes two queens in a reading can indicate a level of gossip. There could be a lot of talk, maybe too much talk about what's been going on in your life. Uh, for some of you, perhaps, you know, you're dealing with several people. And uh, this could be a family situation, a family dynamics that's finally getting healed. But whatever the situation is, your financial situation is rock solid. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, very much like her counterpart, can indicate a real estate agent, an accountant, a financial person, somebody who owns a small business, that kind of thing. But they're stable together, this couple, so... This could be your own parents. This could be another couple you're dealing with who are really, really solid. They could be helping you in some way. But there's a lot of healing involved here. So I have a feeling, Pisces, this is family members. This is family members. Could be a love relationship too. But looks like it could be family members and things are finally starting to heal. Maybe if there was a financial situation that kind of tore things apart in the family, it looks like um, things will be getting back on track again. And it could be due to this Queen of Wands. Perhaps this person is being the mediator and kind of helping in this situation. It looks like a, you know, it was a pretty strange reading because it seems to be all about healing and uh, bringing a financial situation back up to par. So definitely let me know you guys are pretty good at uh you know doing the uh, the comments and letting me know what's going on we all want to know because this is an interesting uh reading it looks like a pretty cool week for you you know with all the healing and stuff and the financial stability so let us know in the comment section below if this makes sense to you if this resonates for you pisces and let us know how so so thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic week. And I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.